Welcome back. It's Green Jackal Plane, Tales of Zillia. And I just got done doing a bunch of shopping, upgrading some gear for Jude. Since he's the only character I got. And we're jumping right back into it. What are we doing? Head to Leonard. Lur. Lur. On. Whatever. Oh, that guy wants to talk to me. Our targets are the monsters that was deeper. Don't worry, I'll be watching your back. Wait, didn't? Huh? Okay. Oh, oh, these are people that I took missions for. Um. Okay. Uh, probably shouldn't have um. Hmm. Sold all this stuff before talking to those people. Oh well. I guess I have to go use the boat. That's that's what I think. I think. Yeah. Sure. I'm ready. Bon voyage. Come on. Bon voyage already. Uh oh. Uh oh. Faster, faster! Let's burn rubber! Go, go! Huh? Um, don't hit us. Rock box, stop! Ah, you're right! Slower, go slower! Don't hit us. Oh, whew. Whippers. Oh, she should fly. Oh, got a couple skips too. Nice. Heh. <laughs> That's a pretty good smirk from Jude. Oh, the wheelchair thing you may have been helpful. Oh good. I'm probably made from wood, so Sorry floated. for the close call. Are you okay? Huh? Oh, you can see water dripping off her. Nice. Hi, Leah. I'm home now. What the... Jude? Huh? Jude? What are you doing here? They know each other. I'm home. And what are you doing here? W well, I was just... These kids wanted to have a race, you see, and well, um... And this little guy here is a real speed demon, so yep. I had him push me in the wheelchair to keep things fair. And let me guess, you just had to be the winner, huh? Oh yeah, yeah never mind that, Jude. So tell me, who's your friend? I suppose that you know this girl. Uh, good yeah. guess. She's an old friend of mine. Uh, how do I explain this? Leah, meet Mila. That's Hello, a good way to start Mila. Oh. <gasps> hey, what's wrong with her legs? I Run and get the doctor. She... Stat, this woman needs help. Right, Roger. Are you heading home? I'll come with you. Here, use this. That would be helpful. Thank you. Ooh, pigeons. Relicans. Kick. Aw. Kick. And kick. Ah, sparkly bit. Um. Okay. For a second there, I thought it was poop. Picking up bird poop. Lots of birds, so I wouldn't be surprised. Just, no, no, no. Not gonna worry about the shops. Just did that. Just looking around, see if anybody's got a little blah mark above their head. Hey, Leia. Talk later. Let's hurry to the clinic. Or stuff like that. That's always nice to pop up to. Adds to the world a little bit and tells you what you have to do. Guessing the clinic's this way. Ooh, nice road. Do 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 do. Hi, hi. Don't don't mind me. I can actually go in here. Um. Anybody read that? Cause I don't understand what that says. I don't know. Is this the hospital? Mathis. Yeah, that's our name, right? Drew Mathis. Well, I also said clinic, so that's a good. Indication. Jude, how's the big city treating you? 
Do you like the capital? Sure. Hmm? Who's this? Mom? Sister. Aunt. Uncle? Oh, you ready to see me now, Doctor? I'm sorry, everyone. We have an urgent case here. You'll have to come back in the afternoon. Uh... Priority case. Sorry, everybody. We'll catch you later. Promise! <laughs> You've really gotten into the swing of things here. Alea? Best nurse in town. Also the only nurse in town. But hey, you know how it is. I guess if you're only a nurse, you can be the best. But you're also the worst. Hmm. Bring her in. Thank you. I'm gonna go with mom. That's mom, right? Hey, mom? No, mom. I don't know. Come on. I want to know who that is. I'd like to know who it is. Try not to worry. Your friend is in good hands. Have faith in your dad. Okay. You look like you've been through the ringer. Want to tell me about it? Yeah. Well, I don't even know where to start, Mom. It is Mom! How about at the beginning? Well, I guess it all began with my professor back Pretty in young looking Mom. Doctor! Doctor! No. Yes, what's wrong? My grandpa was working on the roof and he fell. He's out cold. Ooh. Don't worry, I'll be right there. Maybe I should go help. Maybe it's something I, I, I should do. I need to leave for a bit. Hold down the fort, will you? Huh? But you just got here. I'm sorry. We'll have to catch up later. Ah, fishy. It's fine, Mom. Duty calls. Nice. I went the fishy bowl. Oh! Looks like the little crybaby is all grown up now, huh? Personal bubble. Crybaby? I hardly ever cried as a kid. <laughs> I was just trying to get a rise from you. You're no fun. Hmm. So serious. A rise, huh? I guess the big city turned you into a bona fide adult. Been around Alvin too much. <clears throat> Dr. Mathis. Nope, definitely got my mom's look. Hey, Dad. Come with me. Maybe my dad's attitude. No, nah, he's a little too cold. The patient is suffering from more than just leg injuries. Your journey has left her with a drastically weakened immune system. Why didn't you prescribe rest? Because she wouldn't. Answer me. Surely they taught you better than this in med school. I'm... I'm sorry. Have you informed her of the nature of her condition? I did. I told her you might be able to heal her. So you lied to her. What? It's the truth, isn't it? You've done it before. Yeah. <sighs> Jude, Jude, Jude. You seem that's to think that, that, that using an aspirixis is a simple procedure. As routine as an appendectomy. In this case, it is impossible. But, but Dad... Mm -hmm. Jude. The device attaches you directly to things. the nerves and causes incredible agony. Few patients can bear it. Why exactly are you home anyway? What happened to med school? Answer me, young man. Um... So this is how you're gonna be? Jude! Thank you for the consultation. Okay. I'm out of here. What got into him? <sighs> The Hormones. procedure might be explained in the medical files. If Dad won't help me, I'll do it myself. Better check the archives. That's probably not smart. Eh. 
Search for the archives. This door? No. This door? Oh, that is door. Door number two. Um, Check this wall. This wall looks good. Looking for this? Oh. I knew you wouldn't give up just because your dad turned you away. She got a little, like, kind of pseudo wings with her outfit there. Sash, maybe? I don't know. Cape, maybe? Wow. My old man really is a genius. They sure didn't teach us techniques like this at med school. Apparently, it requires mm. a special stone. The kind of stone isn't written here, though. Yeah. Dad took detailed notes of the entire mm. procedure. As long as we have the device, we should be able to heal Mila. Sounds like she might know what it is. But is Mila up for it? I heard the last patient to undergo the procedure cried uncle after eight seconds. Whoa. He chose to remain paralyzed rather than endure the treatment. It's that painful, huh? You know, no narcotics? maybe you should just forget about this. What if your friend goes through all that torture for nothing? I think she's worth the it. risk. I'm going to do it. If you say so. She seems the type to, you know, grit through the pain. Well, you should check the box up there. You mean the box that looked different What's from anything it? else? Bet you it's a stone. The Asperixis. Or that. Yeah. I found it after I started helping here, when I was cleaning up. So Let's go to Mila's room. I want to try this. Uh, wait. I'm coming too. Hmm. More than just a nurse. Apparently she's also a janitor. Okay. Small place. Aha! Huh? Lock it. Make sure to lock it. If you're always going to do something shady, you lock the door. What are you doing? Shh. <laughs> we can't let my dad hear us. Why not? We're going to use the Asperixis on you now. But your father just told me it was impossible. Hmm. Leah, give me a hand. Uh, uh sure. Whish. Here, you'll want to lay down on your side. Okay. Telling you, no anesthes, no anesthetics, huh? Just straight up sticking something in my body. Or in her body. Okay, okay. Feel anything? Any pain? No, nothing at all. My leg still won't budge either. Why isn't it working? Hmm. Maybe because you have it on the wrong part? I don't sense any mana in this stone. Your father said that an Asperixis needs a spirit fossil, or it won't work. A spirit fossil? Those things really exist? Oh. Apparently. So the special stone mentioned in the medical files is a spirit fossil. Your father also said it's the fossil batteries. has to be used immediately after it's uncovered, or it loses its mana. Great. As if the procedure wasn't already tricky enough. Hold on. I swear I remember that they used to find spirit fossils down in the Felgana mine. Are you serious? Whoa. Whoa, jeez, be quiet. It's just something my dad told me. Yeah, no kidding. Be quiet, Jude. Mila. It sounds like we need to take you out for some field medicine. That seems like a lot of work. You'll do that for me? Yes. Yes, I will. 
I feel guilty for blowing up your legs. Thank you. Jude, can you help her into the wheelchair? What about you? I have to get stuff ready. I'll meet you at the edge of town. Hmm. I hope she doesn't turn us... No, she wouldn't turn us in. She was going to help us get it. Yeah, she's good. We can trust her. I haven't been back here in a while, but the town hasn't changed one bit. Apparently your parents haven't either. Eh, don't mind me. Just doing my rounds. Checking on people. Okay. Can I actually go in here? Uh, no, because we're mad at my dad still. Right. Can I break the fishbowl? Aw, I saw something pop up and it was just an exit. Hmm. Head through the woods to the mine. Aha, so it's that direction. That figures. Just, just kind of explore their town a little. They say that back during the mining boom, this whole street was packed with merchant stalls. Is that right? I was just thinking how much this quiet little street fits you. It is a nice street. Very nice street. What's in here? This is the inn. Yep. This is the inn. Anybody in here need some medical work? Ooh, I can go upstairs in this one. And I can go in rooms. Hey, don't mind me. Doing my rounds. That's a house call. It's an in call. In call. <laughs> oh, hey, you. I gotcha. What you, what you up to? Your hobby's collecting minerals and ores. Rocks. Mm, yeah, yeah. As, er, yeah, whatever. Oh, as this town was mountain, okay. There should be plenty of rare stones in the area. Sure. Sure. I'm going to go look for my own stone anyways. You need a block quartz? Okay. Pretty sure I don't have that. Alright. Man, come out of those doors. It puts you in a weird spot. Um, you know, you can take your bag off. It's not good for your back. And one more room. No, that was it. Can I jump down? No, jumping down. Swing from the chandelier! Hmm. Okay. Don't eat food. I was going to say, but... Alright, I'm here. good to go. The mine's been closed for a while, so I hope you're ready for some spelunking. I'm ready to do some spelunking indeed. Oh, master spelunker. What, what, no, don't, don't, stop, stop, just stop, stop everything. City life. So what was Fenmont like? Come on, you have to tell me everything. Was it like super cosmopolitan? Were you able to make no. friends? I don't and know. No. It was pretty normal. What, that's it? That's all you have to say? You're always boring everyone with long-winded explanations, but when I ask a question, I get the cold shoulder. Come on, you're blowing <laughs> things out of proportion. Listen. You're going to talk, and you're going to tell me everything. You have ten seconds. Ten. Nine. Um, eight. Well, there was a nurse at the school named Prin who was always really nice to me. Ah, but okay, on the day yeah. I went to see my professor, I got attacked by a girl in red clothes. So then, I couldn't go back to the school anymore. Although that did result in me meeting Mila. Oh, hmm. and in terms of other friends, I met this girl named Elise. Fine, I got it. Message received loud and clear. You met all sorts of other girls while you were away. Ooh. Good job, Jude. I'm so happy for you. I see you haven't changed a bit. Haha. -ha. Think I made her jealous. Alright, well I think that's a do it for this episode. We'll head off to the mines in the next episode. Ta-ta!